What is going on members of the Shy Guy Squad? My name is Dan, otherwise known as Donaki, and welcome to the third and final battle of the NPL Miners Tryout Tournament before potential brackets and stuff like that. Hope you've enjoyed the two that went up earlier today against Dokes and Turbo. I know I said like probably have to wait a day, but you know, triple upload because why not? But yeah, so um we're here, we're here, and we're ready to take on the one and only Turkey of the um Toronto Lux race. Yes, maybe, possibly, not not sure. I think it's the Toronto Lux Race. You guys can see from the title and thumbnail, but yes, it is Toronto Lux Race. And his draft will pop up on your screen with a snap of the finger, and it is like this. So it is Tapufini, Victini, Hydreigon, Scizor, Needle Queen, Delmize, Mega Aerodactyl, and Electabuzz. Now, Victini and Hydreigon are his Z eligible mons, meaning they can have any offensive uh, Z move, any, any Z crystal on them, and any offensive move. Now, my draft, as you guys know by now, or if you haven't gotten it quite yet, we have Celesteela, Garchomp, Mega Gardevoir, Torn T, Rotom Heat, Starmie, Breloom, and Gengar. And with that being said, let's just dive into the theme portion. There should be a timestamp on screen from when the draft popped up, and it still should be on screen, uh, for, um, like, uh, a timestamp to jump straight to the battle, because, uh, I can understand that some people are just interested in the battle and don't really care for the team building too much, but, uh, I'll have it on screen in the description, so be, if you just want to check it out, just feel free to go ahead. But again, I want to give a shout out to uh, Aster for helping me build, of course, great guy, thank you so much for helping me out, bud. But here's the team that we have today, we have a modest max speed Starmie to outspeed a Scarfictini, which is like, um, and we also like outspeed uh, Mega Aerodactyl with that, so we have Choice Scarf Starmie here with Surf, Ice Beam, Dazzling Gleam, and Thunderbolt, just nice coverage for his entire team, Thunderbolt hits like Tapufini, and um, like Thunderbolt, Tapufini, uh, and Aerodactyl. Surf is like Victini, Needle Queen, Aerodactyl as well. Ice Beam hits the Hydreigon as well as Dazzling Gleam, but so Ice Beam also hits the Delmize, which is nice to have some damage on. But yeah, so that is just a choice scarf analytic because he doesn't. If he wants to swap, then he's gonna take a heavy chunk from a modest analytic boost at any hit from Starmie. Uh, next up we have Jazz Hands, the Rotom Heat, fit nice and physically defensive with Volt Switch, Light Screen, Will-O-Wisp, and uh, Hidden Power Ground. We're protecting ourselves from all edges here uh, with our young uh, Jazz Hands, the Rotom Heat. Uh, very, very standard spread, allows us to switch in rocks a couple times, 8 speed just in case of speed creeping and stuff like that, and, a hunt and max defense just to take hits best way possible. Celesteela here is an Expert Belt variant. Um, with uh, Heavy Slam, Earthquake, Leech Seed, and Flamethrower. The Expert Belt actually allows me to Oko Scizor with Flamethrower, which is really funny. Uh, we have max, basically max HP, just to the point where like Leech, um, Stealth Rock stuff. Enough speed to out speed. Uh, I think it's Delmize or something, or Uninvest, like Bulky Scizor or something. I don't remember exactly what I have my speed for. Uh, very specially defensively bulky, like mixed defensive, um, to take on uh, a battle on two fronts. And um, yeah, so that is the Celesteela. We have Heavy Slam for good stab. Earthquake is to hit the Needle Queen uh, and Electabuzz. Like if he has, to, if I have to, then I have something for Electabuzz. Leech Seed for recovery, and like I mentioned, Flamethrower for the Scizor, but also hits the Delmize, so that is kind of nice too. Next up we have Cupcake, our Garchomp, which is a Rocky Helmet variant with Stealth Rock, Swords Dance, Earthquake, and Poison Jab. And yes, I did end up regretting a bit on this set for not having coverage for to hit the Aerodactyl, because if I did, then I think my battle would have gone a lot smoother. Like, it was still a very good battle, don't get me wrong. Very good battle. Um, I'm excited to show you guys what happened. But um, I wish I had, you know, Rock coverage on this thing. Um, but yeah, outspeed, um, outspeed Victini by one point, because 328 and then goes 330. So I outspeed Victini, which is like the kind of like border for where you want to outspeed his base 100s, and uh, max, uh, max attack and then just rest in HP because natural bulk. Then we got Gardevoir here, nice and pixelate Gardevoir with Hyper Voice, Psy Shock, Hidden Power Fire, and Shadow Ball. Hidden Power Fire if I ever predict a switch in from Scizor. Uh, or Delmize for that matter if I want to, if I want to have a weak hit on it. Hyper Voice hits like as hard as possible, you know. Just pixelate Hyper Voice. Oh. Yes, Hidden Power Fire as the Scizor switching. Probably gonna cut a little bit here and there, but uh, yeah. 
So Hyper Voice is for the um, strongest hitting stab. Psy Shock we have to hit the Needle Queen. Hidden Power Fire is just to hit like the Scissor and stuff. And Shadow Ball is for the Victini. Because Victini is a scary Pokemon and it's nice to have something to hit his entire team for neutral other than his Hydreigon. It also hit Delmise for effective so yeah that's that. And finally we have ICMC Gengar with Icy Wind. Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball, Icy Wind, and Psychic. Uh, Psychic is there to hit the Nido Queen, Sludge Wave for the Feeny, Shadow Ball is there for like the Delmise and stuff. We have Icy Wind for the Aerodactyl to slow it down a bit and then Sub Zero Slammer off of it. And like I mentioned, the Psychic is for, of course, the um, uh, Nido Queen. So yeah, that is the team. Um, sorry about this. A bit poor team builder and explanation and stuff, but yeah. Let's just dive into the battle. I guess you guys are a little bit more interested about that one other than like all the other stuff here anyway. So we'll make this dark. Why not? And then we can see how this uh, battle here went. Also, I feel... I don't know. Does it look weird? Huh. Hold on. Live editing. There. That looks better. But yes, let's see how this battle went. So let's just click play. I'm going to lead off with my uh, Starmie. As he leads off with his Aerodactyl. And he's going to swap that out. And go. he's going to go into his Flying Dutchman. Which is his uh, Delmise. So he takes 20%. That is a very bulky Delmise. And I wanted this thing in my draft. But I couldn't get it. So that's unfortunate. So he's going to go for a Shadow Claw there. Which doesn't do too much to my Physical Defensive Rotom. And I think I went for a Light Screen here. Yeah, I set up my Light Screen. Uh, to protect myself on both ends he goes for a toxic which is um unfortunate as i'm gonna go for a volt switch here get out of the match and then get into my mega gardevoir instead which can hit a lot harder now he goes into victini here and this thing is assault vested i this thing is assault vested or specially defensive one of the two because he ate that viper voice like it was nothing so i go back into my physically defensive jazz hands which eats up this uh like like, basically what this is, is like, we're switching and taking hits, like, it's nothing. Like, Rotom ate up that, um, like, my Rotom ate up, ate, drank that, uh, V-Crit, and then Electabuzz comes in, takes 9%, and then God of War comes back in, and it's just like that forever lasting circle, because now we take, this thing takes 50% from a Hyper Voice, and now he Volt switches to keep that momentum up, and then he took, uh, Life Orb damage, does he? No, no, Eviolite, -like. he's definitely Eviolite. -like. But I swap out for my, um, uh, I swap out for my, um, Gardevoir into Garchomp as he takes, gets a crit, uh, gets a crit, um, uh, what do I say? I, he gets a crit V create as, uh, I set up my Stealth Rocks. Now he goes into his Mega Aerodactyl, which is kind of scary for my team, to be honest. I go for the Poison Jab, aim for the Poison, do not get it, unfortunately, as he goes for a Stone Edge, and that does some very much damage but th like this is what I mentioned when I said I wish I had uh, rock coverage because I could have just destroyed this thing and it wouldn't have been an issue but uh, alas that is a bit of an unfortunate misplay on my part uh, but yeah so I go into Starmie here because it's my scarf user and I can like weaken stuff so he goes into the flying dutchman as I go for a analytic boosted ice beam that does so much damage and I get the freeze on him too which now I do feel bad for it, I really do, but I don't think it mattered in the long run. I mean, he could have gotten a chance to Rapid Spin, I suppose, if he chose to make that play. So he's going to go back into Buzz Lightyear, the um, Electabuzz here. And I'm going to... I wish I clicked Earthquake, but I didn't. So I'm going to go into Jazz Hands, which could have been a bit of a misplay on my, on my part, because, I mean, I'm weakening my physical wall. I can be Victini switching, and uh, he's about to die, so... I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch here and then have Rotom as Death Water because I don't have Spin or anything like that. And I can go into my Gardevoir now and then whatever he goes into, he goes into Scizor. And I have HP Fire, which I don't know why I didn't go for it to be honest. But he went for Pursuit, very nice play on my opponent's part. I guess I was just too afraid of Bullet Punch, but I don't know. It was a bit, it was a bit of a misplay. I misplayed a lot in this game to be honest. But I go into Celesteela here, which I do have Flamethrower for, as he knows, and uh, he's going to switch into his uh, Flying Deutschman, which is his uh, Delmise, to on the lead seat, so I'm just like, I'm getting played left and right here, I'm struggling. I go for Flamethrower just to knock this thing out, though. If only I had leftovers, that would have been solid. But he's going to switch into Willy, the Tapu Fini, 
and uh, here is where I misplay the most because I stay in on this thing trying to weaken it down and honestly I should have just sacked Gardevoir here and gone into Gengar or something but uh, me taking that um, huge hit was just a bad play overall now he goes into Scizor which takes a heavy hit from my uh, heavy slam but uh, I played so poorly around that Scizor Tapu Fini combo and um, I go for flamethrower here and then then he goes for an hydro pump again and I go for a leech seed or I go for heavy slam trying to take his thing out and it was just such a I should have preserved my Celesteel a lot more to be able to deal with Scizor but alas I did not and that is going to cost me a lot so I go into Mitzi here and I should have just gone into Starmie as well but nope just take that I mean it would have been really funny if I decided not to kill it now and it would have to struggle that would have been kind of funny but uh or you would have had to switch out but uh no so in comes Scizor which is a little bit shy of uh, getting knocked out if I had Sucker Punch on Gengar then I could have put it in range but alas I didn't so uh I could have had a very healthy Gengar to take one bullet punch but no I go for uh, Surf doesn't kill he goes for Pursuit puts me in range of the uh, bullet punch then he's going to knock me out with um, the bullet punch and then he's going to knock out my Gardevoir as well with the same move being the bullet punch so sadly we go two and one here we lose a 3-0 i would have i would have like check it if i would have gone into despite the going into i want to talk about this now because i like to talk refer to things after the game if i would have gone in even if i made the cell steel on misplaced that i did if i would have gone into starmie knocked out the Fini and then had gengar a little bit more healthy then i think i could have won this game because i could have knocked out scissor and then starmie would have been in shape to take on both Victini, which was really weak at the time like let's see uh he was at 56 percent and after rocks it would have been at like 31 and then aerodactyl would have been at less than 20 so like two serfs would have taken out the rest of his team so i think if i would have played a little bit better like taking uh you gone into starmie instead of gengar on the Fini, then i would have been fine i should have thought that he was choiced by the fact that he always went for a hydro pump instead of you know assuming oh hey maybe he's just uh and then the fact that he never got lefty's recovery i should have thought hey maybe he's choiced let's go into starmie which i guaranteed outspeeds it and can take it out but alas i did not and that cost me the match a good game to turk check him out links in the description and all that stuff with that being said if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like comment down below what you thought of this battle i think we're moving on to brackets not 100 percent sure but with that being said thank you all for watching have a beautiful day and i hope to see you guys next time